Why? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Hey guys, today's random spot. What do you got there? We're having a look at Cinema Gum. Contains popcorn and cola gumballs. Yes, we're looking at Cinema Gum. Delightful package. I picked this up on eBay. It has two flavors. Look how happy the two of them are together. Zoom in. They're holding hands. We don't know what sexual preference these, this popcorn and soda are, but uh, today's in today's world, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is that the two of them are clearly happy. Clearly happy. Now, I like popcorn. I like cola. I was trying to come up with a rhyme, but I really had nothing. And when I go to the cinema, I do like picking up both when I sit down for my movie watching experience. As you might know, though, when you go to the movie theater, it can be quite this. It can be quite expensive. In fact, a drink and pop, well, you might as well take out a second mortgage of your house. Because uh, there are, what, to get a combo could be $40, $50 on top of the price of a movie admission. You laugh, but it's really not that far off. <laughs> it's not, not that far off. I know when this guy has gone on dates, to get a ticket and concession stand snacks, yeah. You're dropping a lot. You're dropping a lot of mucho dinero on a date. And if the date don't work out... You've spent quite a fortune, my friend. It's quite a small, small fortune. On the back, there are some ingredients. Contains approximately 22 gumballs. And there, again, is the very happy popcorn. Apparently, he's bleeding popcorn kernels all over the place. I don't know. Would that be, a, would that be the case? He's kind of just oozing himself all over the place. Hmm. What we're going to do, though, is I'm going to get this opened up. We're going to give this a try. Two different gumballs. One del delightful package. Let's bring in Old Red, who also enjoys movie watching experiences. In fact, memory serves me. I remember the one time I brought Red with me to a movie watching experience. Let me tell you, it didn't go very well. Can you imagine seeing a guy coming into a movie theater and he pulls out a knife? Yeah. Let me tell you, that was a pretty short movie. The gum itself is in a metal container. Oh, what's, oh no, what's going on here? Well, that kind of wraps up a very f jovial experience here. They started so happy, the two of them frolicking. Perhaps in the autumn mist, I really don't know. But on the back, that doesn't look very good, does it? And what, hey, what's going on here? What is going on right here? Could that be evidence? A jelly bean sitting right there? You think maybe the jelly, you think it was the jelly bean? David Caruso right now would be sitting down, looking at the two of these, sunglasses on, of course. He'd take his glasses off, looking at the, at the crime scene, and he'd say something, and it would cut to the intro of the show. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something he would say. He would look at the two of these things, and I'm sure he'd say, hmm. Looks like somebody just got a case of the munchies. And they go, wow, right up to the intro of the show. That poor soda. And, of course, you know, the fact that they have X's and I's. Yeah, those poor things aren't coming back. Anyways, geez, Spot, you depressed us. We we're so looking forward to this. Inside, we've got ourselves some yellow balls. We've also got ourselves some brown balls. I can only assume that these would be soda flavored, these would be popcorn flavored. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's give one a try, shall we? I'm gonna try this one right here, the yellow ball. Again, assuming it's popcorn. Because usually what, the way I eat these things at, at uh, movie theaters, I usually eat the popcorn until my mouth gets <coughs> really dry, and then I, I reach down for a delicious sip of soda. 
And usually, in my case, the soda is always cola. It's usually a Coke or Pepsi. Let me know down below. What do you guys normally get when you get when you go to the movie theaters? Some people just avoid these altogether and they get uh, candy. Some people get ices or slushies. Some people get a hot dog. Some people get a full meal. I just think that's silly, but I'm going to give this a try. The gumball, the yellow gumball, which I'm assuming, again, it's popcorn. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. It definitely tastes like popcorn. Mmm. Buttery popcorn as well. It's like I just got a big bucket of popcorn. And you know where I'm going with this. You walk over, you look across where the napkins are, and there's that seasoning station. There's like ketchup. There's like salt and vinegar. I avoid those altogether. I go right to the, the tube of artificially flavored butter. And I pump the nozzle, squirting it all over the popcorn. I shake it a little bit, pump it again. By the end of it, my popcorn looks quite disgusting, but... Mmm. That's really good, though. It does definitely taste like popcorn. Mmm. Now, I did this off camera. You're not going to see this, but I took the gum out. Why? Because now I'm going to try the soda, the soda flavor, which I'm also using my other hand for. Give this a try. We're going to give try the soda. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. You'd be surprised how similar these actually taste to the real thing. It is as if I've actually taken a sip of soda. And right now it's it's in the dark, so of course I'm put, trying to put it down in that cup holder. And the cup never sits. You and I, we all know, the cup never sits when you put it back in. You have to rotate it a bit before you finally get the cup into the cup holder. Mm, that's really good, though. You can't go wrong, my friends. Perhaps this could be a cheap alternative to paying the $30 for concession stand snacks. Today's random spot, very delicious. We were having a look at cinema gum, popcorn, and cola gumballs. Definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, guys. Those poor guys on the back, look at them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.